All right, we're gonna take another crack with this uh, Vepper 308 uh, at 300 yards, and it's got the primary arms 1 to 10 SLX scope. Okay, so this is a second focal plane scope. We're gonna put five on the steel target and then five on the paper to see what. So this gun, I have found it not to be particularly accurate. A lot of it having to do with this side mount rail system here that AKs have. I mean, I can see splashes like right around it. Um, so I'm getting close. I mean, I'm pretty. I mean, accuracy is for 300 yards. I mean, it's not. I mean, obviously, this is terrible accuracy. I should be getting very tight groups at 300 yards. But um, it's definitely what I would call like combat effective at 300 yards. Let's try to paper. So I'm definitely seeing splashes behind the target, like behind the paper, like dirt lifting up. So let's try this again. This time I tried, because before I was um, anchoring the chevron to the top of the paper, um, and the paper's sitting diagonally, so I think that might have threw my shots off before. This time I was actually um, using the one mil line and putting that in the center of the paper. So even though I don't have a good holding point because I don't have a bullseye or anything there, I was just holding center and let, let's see what happens. All right, so let's take a look at the I shot the steel first. Um, and I was holding my one mil like right in the center. And it looks like I got three impacts like really close here. One, two, three impacts. I and mean, that's like really close. Uh, the other ones went right around it. Uh, I'm actually surprised I managed to get three impacts that close. <laughs> One, two, three, with this rifle and the scope on it. <laughs> um, on the paper here. So the first time I was shooting this, I was kind of anchoring the chevron to the top. I think because the paper's kind of slanted at the distance, it's throwing me off. So this time I was just taking the 1 mil line and just trying to hold that in the center. Now there's no bullseye or anything, so it's not going to be, my hold is not going to be super accurate. And I've got one two three four out of five hits um which is not terrible oh let me let me i got my tape measure here so the four ah, tape measure, stay open. so the four out of five hits are at 13 inches Let's see if i get you guys in the camera i can't see the camera because of the brightness yeah so i got four out of five hits at 13 inches uh, for whatever reason, these shots were pulling upwards to the left a little bit. Whereas those shots over there seem to pull upwards to the right a little bit. 
uh, it's a lot, I mean, it, it basically it's got like your standard, like, uh, like w whatever trigger came with it, the stock is very awkward. So, uh, it's probably a lot better than I expected, <laughs> uh, to get these four shots, uh, with this Vepro, um, 308, which is like a very uncomfortable gun to shoot because of that wooden stock. Um, I can't take a sniper hold on. I actually have to hold the gun in front of the magazine. So it's not the way that I'm used to shooting. But the 13 inches at uh, at uh, 300 yards, I mean, it's not terrible. I mean, definitely for suppression fire, yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, um, I feel we'll see if we can take this a little bit further. I don't expect great things if I take it further, but uh, we'll try it out. Hey, everyone. So I just shot this Vepper 308. Uh, with uh, American Sniper ammo at 400 yards, okay? Now, uh, here's the thing. I tried using a bag, uh, like, in the prone position, but that was not working because I just couldn't get enough elevation. Uh, so I ended up going to, like, a different position. Basically, I shot it from a kneeling position, like, from an improvised kneeling position, uh, shooting off of the bag. I was, like, you know, it was, it was definitely, like, an improvised... Uh, kneeling position, you know, with the guns kind of supported on the back. Okay, but uh, I am actually—I didn't expect to hit anything, but it, it, it did pretty good. I got three shots here. Now remember, these are the ones without the holes. Three shots: one, two, three. I shot five shots, so the three shots came in at eight inches, which I'm like, wow, I'm kind of impressed. And then there was this shot over here, right? That with that opens up the, the four out of five to twenty inches. Hold on. Straight. So that's 20 inches with that one, four out of five, and then the fifth one went off the paper. Uh, so from an like an improvised, like supported kneeling position, um, you know, three out of five at eight inches, and then the fourth one at, at 20 inches. That's in, you know on a man size target. I was using the fourth mill line. Uh, I'm I'm pretty impressed. I mean, I did not expect to do that. Uh, because I, I mean, just shooting it, I'm like, I follow through was like not a thing. So, you know, just because of that terrible position I was in, as soon as I shot the gun, 308, boom, threw me out of the glass. So, so there's like no way I could really follow through. Um, and, but still, I mean, I was able to make these definitely, like definitely combat accurate hits four out of five, uh, at 400 yards. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm actually impressed with the gun and myself, uh, because when I shoot this at 200 yards, like I not, you know, actually at 100 yards when I shoot it, I, I mean, the groups that were hitting like at almost six inches, I'm like, ah, if I go to further distance, if I'm hitting six inches at 200 yards, it's going to open up a lot when I get further out. Well, it, it seems to have not opened up that much. Um, so yeah, I, I think that's pretty decent. So, uh, I, I couldn't get you guys i couldn't get it on camera because I, I had to go like way out there and uh because i didn't have a bipod i had to bring the bags out so walking across this field there's like only so many things i could carry so i, I couldn't really carry the i couldn't carry the, the uh, um i couldn't i couldn't carry like too much crap and the bipod wouldn't fit on the gun because i have an m lock bipod um and it won't it won't fit on that gun so i have to bring sandbags out so I can't be going out, you know, 400 yards with sandbags and stuff like that. So, uh, so yeah, I mean, realistic combat accuracy, right? Because you, sometimes you're not going to have a bipod. Sometimes you're not going to, you know, uh, be able to get into the best position that you can get into. And that's, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, better than I expected. <laughs>